in the morning. This is for sure the earliest that we've gotten up. We got up at 6.20. And we're going to go kayaking with our friend Tim and his lady. I've been sick the past four days, but I feel like I turned a corner and I'm feeling better. Plus, I really wanted to go kayak and see if we can get close to some whales. No expectations. So, we're headed to Oluwalu. That's where Tim told us to meet him. Um, my brain isn't working yet. So, we've got coffee. Graceful. Put your feet out like that, and then just lean forward and push your butt back into it. And then there's two tabs on the side you can pull those forward. Well, I was like holding myself out. Pull them both forward, lean forward. Lean forward. Cool. There you go. There you go. How's that? Yeah. Oh, good? Everybody's good? Yep. Waves are real, Alright, are you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so you want to flip your power on this way. And same thing, obviously, so the point is up in the air. So like no. this? No, you have to go straight. You flip it this way. I need to flip this? This is like. Ah, yep. I see what you're saying. So the point's pointing up? Yeah. Yeah. And that way you guys stay in sync like this. Yep. And then going like this. And then um Look how deep should we be dipping this shit. You kinda wanna just come along the side of the kayak, yeah, like that. And push forward the top end. You saw another one? Just like hit the side really loud is what So she just saw one over there. It was either like a hunger. So tank. our team has seen two wells already. How many have you guys seen? Uh I seen a hundred. Just not to like oh. not to lose. <laughs> We're gonna yeah. kind of straight this way now. Oh, I just saw the blow, yeah, for sure. There, yeah, straight out. Bam, bitch. 12 o'clock. Can we go straight over there now? Because it gets crazier as the yeah, it gets windier. But also, it depends on the angle of the wind more so than how hard it's blowing. You can be blowing 30 miles an hour two days in a row, but different angle most days. And it'd be windy at one location, not at the other. So, if you go for north winds on um, the west side or the south side, it's going to be better. Uh, Look at Milikini. Yeah, it looks adorable. You, see you can see both ends. The little, uh, the little crescent moon shape at all? Yeah. yeah. Look right above it. You see that mountain right above it? That's the yeah. Hawaii Island. Yeah. Oh, nice. Can you see it? Right yeah. It just, it's just right underneath the clouds, the tip of it. Oh. Can you see that? Oh. You see it, babe? Just barely, yeah. It's like a yeah. hint back there. A hint? Is this part of the guide? Is this part of Tim's guide service? Um, no, I'm not really going to do that. 
or ever. Turtle! Yeah, buddy. He did. Wow, look at that. I'm trying to film. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, it's so bad again. <laughs> <laughs> right there, straight ahead. Oh, yeah. But let's just sit here for a minute. That sounds um, great. There's probably something closer. There might be some more over there somewhere. Yeah, plus our shoulders are already dying. Yeah. This main thing is work together. Like, don't try to pull the kayak by yourself. So here's the thing. The kayak has a max speed of like three miles an hour or something, right? Okay. Because it's just not efficient. So you can rip as hard as you want and still only going to go three miles an hour. Yeah. And you're just wasting energy. For right? sure. So if you just kind of get a nice pace and fill that and just kind of paddle at that nice like three miles an hour then it's going to be it'll feel effortless but the harder you rip you just wear yourself out and it's just inefficient does that make sense yeah so just kind of like feel each other's pulling and don't try to like pull it by all of, don't like uh, all the way by yourself you know what I mean? that's me you're talking to me yeah. alex is like i'm gonna win this So I can't believe how clear and calm it is. It's, like it's really nice. We really never get out this early. It's always like, go snorkel in the morning, and then we get there at like noon. Yeah. You have to just commit. Early mornings on Maui, for the ocean, you have to. It's not really, I mean, today it'd be nice all day, because it's really light winds, but yeah, you know, usually just have to, you have to get on it first thing. Oh my gosh. Look, there's the well out like, there. Oh it's my beautiful. gosh, there's yeah. Ooh, there's multiples. That's too far though, yeah? It just, it's not too far. I just... Oh, dang. That might be a competition pod. And that's some... They're racing yeah, around. Get yeah, mixed there's up multiple. Yeah, I see they're this. They're chasing a girl. Oh, so they're fighting they're each other. Fight. So you're going to see a lot of blows. Fight. And they're going to be blowing... We're going to be like fighting each other. Blows to the head. Whoa! That? That's called a head lunge. So he lunges out of the water and fills up his um, chest cavity with water. So he's twice his size and has twice the weight and just rams the other one. Or they'll come down on top of another one and push him down so he can't breathe. Well, let's just keep paddling out that way. Wow, that is then, so crazy. I'll oh, just keep scanning all directions too and see if we see anywhere else. All right, so we're out here kayaking with the homies and as you can see, it's a beautiful clear day out here. I'm sitting in the back, Laura's paddling me because I'm a boss like that. Woman power. Anyways, it's beautiful. We haven't had a day this calm the whole time, so it's pretty amazing. We, we've seen a few whales, but they're pretty far out, so we're chasing some down. Look at that shit. That's crazy. up to him. We caught up to him. This is a mom and a calf. There we go. Ooh. So what this calf is doing, that's called a, a peduncle throw. And it's, it's trying to strengthen its tail muscle, or the peduncle muscle for that long swim back to Alaska. And once the calf is finally strong enough to go back, then they'll head off. So mom's resting below the surface. She hasn't eaten in months. She swam here pregnant, gave birth, and is nursing, and still hasn't eaten. So she's really low on energy. Meanwhile, the calf is gaining 100 pounds a day, trying to get strong for that long swim back to Alaska. Turn us that way, please.
It's a video. <laughs> and yes. We're gonna say a hui ho to the whales. No we're gonna go over okay. to so we, we go like slow and take some breaks. Yeah, we're gonna go so that red roof house right there. And we're gonna paddle it really slow on the way back to the red roof house. Okay, sounds good. Then we're going to Leotis. Okay. Mm. That's what I'm into. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're paddling back in. I'm trying to talk and keep in sync with Laura here. We caught up with the mama whale and a baby. He got as close as you're legally allowed to get. We chilled for a bit. It's pretty beautiful little moment. Anyways, we're heading back in. I would definitely recommend this. I don't know if I would recommend hopping on a big whale watching boat since I haven't done it. Laura enjoyed it. I much more enjoy this, much more personal. Gotta actually have a moment with just us and the whales. The reef right here is so shallow, I could probably stand up. It's crazy. Anyways, that's all, signing off.